This tutorial will cover data synchronization using Dragonrad. Data synchronization refers to transferring data to and from a mobile device using Dragonrad. A synchronization rule defines a set of policies, including SQL query definitions for selecting, updating, inserting, and deleting data from the, from the database, upload conditions which define which records on the device are selected for upload, deletion settings which define when and how data is deleted from the device, notification settings, these define how the user is notified when new data is received on the device through a synchronization rule, and finally uh, scheduling settings which can be used to run synchronization rules on a periodic basis. This tutorial will focus primarily on synchronization rule policies for SQL query definition and will touch upon upload conditions and deletion settings. The synchronization sequence can be broken down into four phases. The first step is uploading new and updated records from the mobile device to the database. This involves the Dragonrad client scanning all tables associated with the given synchronization rule and sending the updated and new records to the Dragonrad host. The host will then apply the synchronization rules insert and update SQL statements, as appropriate, on the incoming records to store the records in the database. The second step is the transfer of primary keys back to the Dragonrad client. This is for new records created on the device which had been using temporary primary keys. Acknowledgement for the insert and update statements are also sent back to the mobile device. Once the primary keys are sent back to the Dragonrad client, the client will update the applicable records so that they may be referenced by their proper primary key in the future. If records are to be deleted after upload by setting the automatically remove records from device after upload flag, the deletion occurs after acknowledgement is received from the server. The third step in the synchronization sequence is to request data. This is done with the select SQL statement. This request can be dynamic in nature, in which case fields from the current screen are sent to the Dragonrad host and mapped into the select SQL statement. Note that for fields to be sent during this phase, they must be bound to a table by setting the data table and data column properties. This allows the Dragonrad host to properly handle the fields by their applicable types. Any existing data on the device can be removed before this request is made by checking the Always Remove Records from Device Before Download flag. This is particularly useful when performing a search as it ensures any old search results are removed. The final step is simply to receive the records from the database, store them internally, and update any associated user interface components.